Hello everybody! Before we start, I just wanted to let you know that I'm having a merch giveaway on my Twitter account. All you have to do is follow my Twitter at twitter.com slash gbofficial and retweet the giveaway post so that I can select a winner on September 15th. There's actually two winners and you'll be able to pick whatever item you want from my merch store. So go to twitter.com slash gbofficial to enter. Hello there! May I stop you for a moment? Um, before you progress any farther, I'm going to need to use this probity probe on you. Oh, don't, don't panic. Oh dear. You're new to the wizarding world, aren't you? <laughs> well, don't worry. A probity probe is very painless. Um, simply need to wave it over you a bit in order to detect any um, concealment spells or hidden magical objects. That's all. It's just for your safety and mine. Thank you. Alright. Have that here. And stand very still. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. And we do the old like here. Okay. You seem to be alright. Come on in. Well. Welcome to Gringotts, the most important stop on your list of errands today, I am certain. We were founded by Gringott himself back in 1747, but that doesn't mean much to you, does it? Gringott was a goblin, um, as are many of the creatures, goblins, people you see working here today. I myself am about a quarter goblin, quarter elf, quarter witch, and then the other quarter we're not quite sure what we're made up of, but um, yes, my ancestors were very uh, open. Right. So, since this is your first time at Gringotts, I would like to let you know that you have chosen the right bank considering it is the only wizarding bank. Um, I hope that you enjoy our services. So let's have a sit and go over what I can do for you. Um, we'll start from the very beginning, won't we? No problem. First of all, I would like to assure you that we are the safest place in the wizarding world. Some people will tell you that it's Hogwarts, but I beg to differ. And, well, we've never had a break-in except for time two in the 1990s, but we don't talk about that. And besides, the second wizarding war was just a, a great big mess. We since moved past all that and reclaimed our title as safest bank and safest place in the wizarding world. So feel free to leave whatever objects you want with us. Enjoy your time here. We can um, do deposits, withdrawals. Um, I can exchange your money. Do you have any wizarding money? No, none to your name. That's fantastic, don't worry about the thing. Um, did you bring some pounds with you? perfect. I'll be able to take those and exchange them for um, some galleons, a handful of sickles, some canuts. I've lost you. Alright, let me get a sample of each one. Okay, here we are. The canut. Now, this is virtually useless. Very small. Okay. 
and this is just pocket change. You'll only use these in very particular shops that like to charge you down to the last cannot. Okay. But I do assure you that using wizarding money is much easier <laughs> since you have the spells to do all the calculations and a lot of the shop um, keepers they, they don't like to mess around with muggle money so you don't really have a choice. Um, next we have the sickle. This is made of silver, I forgot to mention. Canut is copper silver, uh, sickle, we'll see these a bit more. And then finally, what you'll be using the most is the galleon. Paper money, muggle money, it's far too easy to replicate, so but make sure that you're only getting your money here at Gringotts. Especially the galleons, um, that leprechaun gold, it's, it's far too close to a witch or wizard's eye to really be able to tell. So only get your galleons from here because we can tell the difference. <laughs> We're experts, of course. Alright, so you'll need to open a bank account with us, and then if you need to open a vault, we can do that as well. A bank account. We will keep track of your money, um, essentially the idea of your money. Um, all of the canuts are stored in vault 1, the sickles in vault 2, and the galleons in vault 3. It doesn't really matter to you. All you need to know is we will keep record of how much you have deposited and if you need some at any time, we will take from those vaults and give it to you. That's a very simple sign up process. It's not bad to have. However, if you would like to open your own vault, then you can keep your particular money in there along with any sort of valuables or invaluables that you have. A vault will cost a bit more money. It costs, um, you charge by the month. You take it straight out of your vault, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Does that sound a bit better? Okay, I can certainly do that for you. Let me see my big book out here. And there's going to be different levels of security. Alright, well, we can store concealers, detectors, artifacts, photographs, wands, jewels, documents, really whatever you need. Excuse me, if you are storing any dark magical objects, you will need to talk to my supervisor and fill out um, quite a bit of paperwork, but there's not much that we won't take. <laughs> no, not much at all. Just have to fill out the necessary forms. No dark magical objects yet. Should have known. Okay, so let's see what we've got. In the low security vault, you will be able to access these yourself with a key. Um, you can go in at any time. Yes. So you don't need a goblin to come with you. You can go in, open your vault, do your business and leave. Very simple, but again, our lowest level of security. Our lowest level of security is better than under your mattress. Next we have the second layer of security and that would be a bank vault that you need a goblin accompanying you down into the depths of the bank and 
depending on what's being stored inside and varying levels of security within that level of security, the goblin will either need to swipe a finger or press a full palm on the door in order to get it open. That's if you have um, very uh, rare or expensive items. A bit more costly, but not too bad. Next, we have our higher to highest security vaults. Um, you can have it protected by dragons or sphinxes. I will say with the sphinxes, you have to be a bit clever in the head because if you can't answer the question, you won't be able to access your own item. So we like to give a bit of an IQ test before we sign a sphinx vault with anyone. Exactly. All right. And then if you want any more protection than that, again, I will have to refer you to my supervisor. We can't give away all of our goblin secrets. In fact, I've told you quite a bit. Okay. Since we're bound by code, um, you can't know everything that goes on underneath Gringotts. You just have to put your trust in us. I see. Well, it seems like to start off, we'll sign you up with your own low security vault step higher than um, an account, but you don't need a goblin coming down with you and you don't want one of us coming down to the vaults with you um, just to get some trifle objects, alright? Exactly. But it's useful if you have physical objects that you need storing. Let me get my quill. Here we are. And if you open a low security vault with us today, we give you a free chocolate frog on the house. Have you tried one yet? Oh goodness. You'll have to open it for me. It's still one missing. Wizard cards. Okay. Get some ink. And Get your information. All right. Your name, please. Very good. Your birth date. School of Occupation. Okay. And your address. Okay. I see. Are you staying nearby? Oh, there are lots of places in Diagon Alley. Oh, perfect for first time wizards, visiting witches, and all that. Alright, let me submit this, and let's find you your perfect fault. Alright. Any questions so far? Okay. I see. Taken, taken, taken. As I said, we are the only visiting bank, so it's a bit crowded in here sometimes. Okay. Fault. Number. Write this down. Eight 
eight, four, one. All right, just opened up the, the owner. It's a witch who got eaten by her pet rune spore. Never understood why they were kept as pets. A one-headed serpent is enough for me. Thank you very much. So, that will be your new vault. Let me rummage up the key. The key, the key, the key. Okay. Right. This is not the key. Not the key. Um, ah, here we are. Okay. It's quite cute. Delicate. So this is your key and your lock. So what you want to do is just simply push the key in, your vault will open, and it is forgetful proof. So you can't pull the key out without locking the vault. Makes it simple and easy. Make sure to watch your back when you're going into the vault. Don't watch you locked in there. So again, take your key, just like that, okay, okay, it's quite a pretty one actually, okay, this is for you, that is for your vault, and I can have someone show you exactly where that is. Did you bring items to deposit today? Let's deal with the cash first. Um, we take dollars, euro, yen. Okay, you have pounds. Perfect. Um, I'm going to see that, please. Right. Is that everything? So there's about 4.97 um, galleons to a pound. That's what you'll mostly be dealing with. Handful of sickles, sprinkle of nuts. Okay. Very good. Thank you for that. Make sure everything's in there, all right? Okay. Are you surprised? Yes. The magic of counting. Quite convenient, as I said before. Alright, here is your money. Would you like it all now? If this is your first time in Diagon Alley, I will recommend that you just take it, go do your shopping, go do your errands, come back here at the end of the day, we're open 24-7, no holidays, um, so you can try out your vault and put in any extra. Alright, go ahead and do that for you. Alright, this is yours much. And let's see what you brought from me. Things from the muggle world, okay. I see, I see. Now let's take a look and get them sorted for you. All right, all on the table here. Let's start with this little fellow. Oh, it's a curious beast. I apologise, the goblin inside me is always fascinated by valuables and strange objects. <laughs> it's all a little bit dusty, isn't it? And this is a giraffe. Interesting. Steif. Steif. Hmm. Alright, well. We will store your tiny beast. 
just fine in the font. Make sure he's nice and cleaned up. It does tend to get a bit dusty sometimes in Gringotts, so make sure to come back every so often to take a look at your valuables. We do have an anti-humid um, sort of charm that's placed over the vaults, at least a low level security one, so it offers a bit of protection, but exactly. Okay, little giraffe, you sit right there. Uh, next we have a wooden something or other. What's this supposed to be? A car. Oh. I always thought they looked different. It's a very old car. I see. Does this help it fly? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't taken muggle studies in you know, well over 30 years. Okay. Again, all your valuables is dusty. Looks to be a decent shape. An antique of the muggle world. Fairly valuable. If not a bit worn out. Just making sure there's nothing right. Very good. <laughs> All right, this will go safely in the vault. Next, we have some type of tool. What's this do? Oh, oh, fantastic. This is a torture device. No. Oh, open bottles. Interesting. You have quite an easy spell for that one. You may not be picking this up anytime soon. Unless you have muggle in laws. Bottle. Very fascinating. Same. Muggles are so violent. But alas, we don't ask too many questions. We just store it. Very good. Right. Next we have something quite large, don't we? Oh dear. Okay. And is this club? No, open it. Oh, an instrument. It's got a nice protective case. That's good. Metal clasps, handle. Good for transportation. Um, may I open it? Just want to see the side, make sure everything is set. Okay. Here we have the instrument. So, 
might might strings hmm. well not very musically inclined so I won't attempt that and it's hollow on the inside hello 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 bit of emo there for you okay let's put that back i see why you're putting this away and do the You need to make some room, so forgive me here. Send this back into the vaults, maybe other items. Very good. And here we are. Okay. Unmoving photo. Queen of the game. Look inside. Oh, what's this? Hmm, oh, very nice. Quite funny looking muckles there. And we have a plate of some sort. Very flimsy. Play music with it. Fascinating. Alright. Play the game, dragon attack, the long bites of dust, nature and loving tonight. Crazy little thing called love. Listen. Okay, put that back here. Seems like you also have Ello's greatest hits. And oh, this one's not even opened. It's not like him very much. Bruce Springsteen. I think I knew his aunt. Very famous witch, actually. Springsteen, Springsteen. Rings bell. Alright. So those will be sorted and put away. Finally, we have this photograph. Very nice. And it's not moving. You do with this? There's no enchantments on it. Handsome devil, isn't he? I won't ask who he is because I am professional and not nosy. But if you were to tell me, I wouldn't mind. Quite a nice frame. Unmoving photograph is precious to you. We shall store it in the vault. We don't ask too many questions here. Very nice. Alright, is that everything? Fantastic. Where are you off to next? Oh, okay. Um, well, let me see here. Um, let me get you your things and I can direct you right before you leave. Here are books containing everything you need to know about your new fault, about Gringotts, about 
anything you might have questions of. So what we do with that. So many different languages. That's right. Or you could use a spell to translate them. English is included. And of course, your chocolate frog. <laughs> haven't tried this yet. Oh, please do. I open it. You must. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Let's see who you got here. Mm, chocolate doesn't really matter much. It's good chocolate, of course, but what you need is the cards. And you've got Helga Hufflepuff. Everyone has Helga Hufflepuff. And now you do too. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Helga Hufflepuff was particularly famous for her food-related charms. Many recipes traditionally served at Hogwarts feasts originated with So, lucky she's here to say hello. She might pop in and out with the card. And catch the frog, catch the frog, catch the frog, catch the frog. There you are. I suggest breaking it. There you go. And eat it immediately. It's best when it's fresh. Okay. Well, um, I'm not sure how to get to the wand shop. When you leave here, I'll get a map for you. You're going to be right off of Diagon Alley. Um, we are on the corner of Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley right here. You don't want to turn on to Nocturne Alley, not your first day. So go down here and you'll find the shop about there. Um, with more of what you're looking for down the road. Alright now, not a tour guide, so Thank you so much for choosing Gringotts, and um, make way for the next guest. Alright, see you later.